Joya and Shawty, I am the plug for all of your mommy and baby product reviews. I buy it and try it so that you may or may not have to. So let's get into it. Today, as you can see from the title, we are going to review the Nuna Pippa Light RX with relaxed base. Whew. Takes longer to say it than it does to use it, okay? So we're gonna start off with some of the specs. These are straight from the website. So it weighs 6.9 pounds. The measurement, the length is 27 and a quarter. The width is 17 and a half inches and the height is 23 inches. Usage, um, they say you can use it for babies that are between four and 32 pounds and up to 32 inches. All right, so let's get in some of the pros here. Why do I love this thing? Y'all, it is lightweight and pretty much one arm friendly. And I never thought this was a thing that you needed the car seat to be light until I had a baby. Once you add that 20 plus pound baby to the car seat, you will wish that your seat was lighter. This thing is super light, under seven pounds um, and one arm friendly. So literally when you got a child, you know that it's rare that your hands are free, right? So you might have the baby in the car seat over here and the diaper bag on your back and your coffee mug and all these other things, right? So you want something that you can snap in, snap out, lift up, put down with one arm and this does the trick. Also, it has these amazing magnetic seat belt buckles. Y'all, if you ever try to put a squirmy little thing into a car seat, then you know that it's hard. And when you put them in, now they're sitting on top of the seat belts and the harness and all these things. And now you gotta dig up under the baby and try to get everything out. Um, but these seat belt buckles are amazing. And we actually forgot that we have them. And um, once we figured it out, it changed the game. So literally they just snap right into place on the outside. So then you put baby in, one, two, we're ready to snap. It makes life so much easier. Speaking of magnets, it also has a magnetic drape. So when the sun is shining too bright or it's windy or it's uh, drizzling outside, you just pull down the drape. You don't need a blanket. You don't need to carry anything extra because literally who wants to carry anything extra? Um, and it just snaps right into place and it stays. That's the great part about it. Once that magnet gets on, it's not moving. So that's an amazing pro. Easy to clean. Now, although mine is a little dirty right now because baby boy had crackers in it um, yesterday, y'all, everything is machine washable. So it's, listen, you know, you know, if you know, you know, all right? Uh, fast and simple installation. Hubby and I are gonna go outside in just a minute and show you just how fast you can snap this thing in and out of your car. And my favorite thing, you don't need the base. It comes with the base. We use the base in our main car, but instead of buying a second base for our other car or dragging the base with us when we go out of town, it's not needed. Y'all, when you go out of town, when you hop in an Uber, when you get a rental car, all you need is your seat and the seat belt that comes with the car. Perfect. All right, let's get into the cons because nothing is all great, right? First con, duh, it's pricey. So, when we were looking at different car seats, we were like, oh, you know, they probably be a couple hundred dollars. Y'all, this one ranges from about $520 up to $575. These are the prices straight from the Nuna Baby website. Um, I think one of them is on sale. That's the one that's $520. And it depends on the color that you want. Speaking of colors, another con is sometimes certain colors are very hard to get. The color that I really wanted was caviar. And it was always out of stock. So I ended up going with a different color because that's what was available in the time frame that I needed it. Um, and the last con is that to use it with their strollers. It is compatible with all of the Nuna strollers, but you can't just snap it in like some of them. This one particularly, you need an adapter. Now the adapter does come included with the stroller, but again, it's just something else to keep up with. We keep ours in our trunk um, because that's just usually when we use the stroller when we're out and about. So. It's just, it's a con to some, maybe it doesn't really matter, but it is just a different piece that you have to keep up with. All right, so now we're gonna go outside. Hubby's gonna come out with us and we're gonna show you how we install the base, how we snap in the seat, how we take the seat out and how we use the car seat without the base. All right, let's head outside. 
All right, guys, welcome to my car. It's not 100% tidy, but I have a one-year-old, so there's that. Anyway, so you get your base. It comes just like this. You want to click it into place. These things came standard in our vehicle. I believe they come standard in most vehicles, but you see that indicated light turned green. We'll show you that again in just a minute. But here's your stability leg. So you want to release that down. It also has an indicator light on it. Red is bad, green is good. If you have car mats, you really wanna to try to get this as flat to the floor as possible. So we um, got ours under or aside from our car mat there. Dad is gonna make sure that it's completely level before we move on. As you see, the light is red because it's not connected. And even when it turns green, you just wanna make sure it's straight and level. So that's when he's just gonna adjust that for a minute here and then make sure that it stays green and then we will move on. There we go, good job, Dad. So now we're gonna just show that it is actually clicked in correctly on the other side. So there's indicator lights on both sides. So we're gonna unhook it to show you that it's red when it's not right and green when it's snapped in properly. There we go. All right, moving on. So if you look here, you'll see that Dad's explaining for me where to go next. <laughs> All right, so you'll see we have these recline positions. So as your baby gets bigger, you can recline to four different positions based on his or her weight. And you don't have to reinstall. That recline works perfectly. All right, so now we have the seat belt latch. This is another method that you can use to make sure that you're in there nice and snug. All you do is buckle your seat belt in there, pull the shoulder strap in, and close the latch. Y'all, this is so easy peasy, and it took, I don't know, less than three or four minutes to get everything in here. Dad just always makes sure we're super snug. As you will see, he's going to shake to make sure it's not moving. There's some instructions there in case you don't have the manual. The base comes with instructions on it, so... No excuse then to get it right. And remember, you can always go to the fire station and they will check to make sure that it's correct. All right, so the base is in. Now we're bringing the seat. Y'all, easy as one, two, three. That thing just snaps in when you get it aligned. And snap. We're in there like swimwear. That's making sure it's in there nice and snug. Here are the magnetic seat belt um, buckles y'all it's so good because you ever try to get a baby into a seat you want everything out of the way so that keeps the belts out of the way and lets you able be able to snap it in great baby has his own little sunroof i'll show you that in a minute all right taking it out easier y'all it's a latch pull pull out let's go no base, no problem. You can use this seat without the base. All you have to do is get the seat on your car seat. Make sure that it's level. Dad is making sure that line is level. Then we're going to pull the seat belt. We are going to buckle it on top of the car seat. Going to give you a different angle here. So you can see us buckling it in on top of the seat. Once you get that buckle, you want to use all three of the seat belt paths that are located on the seat. So there's one, here's number two. You're gonna pull your shoulder strap over the seat, secure it in this seat belt path, just slides right in. And then there's a third one on the other side, just slide it right in. Once you get all three secure, check your seat. You're ready for the Uber, the rental car, or anywhere else that you might be without your base. Let's go. And we're back. So if you can't tell y'all, I absolutely love this car seat. I'm actually pretty sad that my baby's about to size out of it. So we have to go to the next level seat in which I don't even know what that's called. I don't know, taller seat, booster. I don't know. If you know, tell me in the comments if you have things that you loved for this next phase. Um, tell me because we're about to be on the hunt again and I'm going to take you with us so that we can see what's the next seat. Maybe Nuno has something else that's amazing. Um, again, I love this seat. For me, the biggest con was the price. However, listen, if you're having a baby shower, y'all, or at least just a baby registry, 
put it on your registry and make it group eligible. You might have six to seven friends to say, hey, I'm gonna put in 50 bucks, 75 bucks toward this thing. And next thing you know, you have your $550 for your Nuna. Shout out to my mom and dad. They purchased ours and we are so very grateful. But in the event that you have to purchase it yourself, y'all, there's few things that I would say to splurge on when it comes to products because we all know babies grow so fast. You don't want to go, you know, Gucci, Louis, Prada, your baby down, and then in a month they can't fit it. Unless that's your thing. Go, girl. But when it comes to certain things, I say it's worth the splurge. And the car seat is one of them. You're going to use it so much in that first year, even if it's just back and forth to doctor's appointments. If you go on any kind of trips, just going to the grocery store, you're going to use that car seat probably you know, pretty much every day, every time you get in the car and take the baby with you. So you want your baby to be safe. You want something that is lightweight. It's light, but it's also very, very strong. So I recommend this car seat, five stars, fully recommend. Nuna, y'all did that. All right, y'all, this is it for this video. I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope you get plugged in. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, see you guys later. Bye.